everybody, how you doing out there? It's your sweet Dave, you know the deal. I'm here doing, I'm welcome everybody to my listening podcast. That's listening podcast, audio only, folks. We're just doing an audio portion of this podcast. Glad you are along for the ride. Yes, along for the ride. Uh, this will be my audio portion podcast. Now, here, we don't have lively callers. We don't have uh, guests coming on our podcast. We just have me, little old me. Uh, talking to you on this podcast, audio portion. Uh, no visuals, no uh, film or some sort, uh, no guests coming on here, um, and no colors. They say no colors, no, you know, phoning people kind of thing. Um, this is just the audio portion. I'm going to talk about a whole bunch of stuff. This is not a rant. This is just an ordinary podcast show. And uh, if you want to listen to it, and you might get some uh, Tim bits, you might get some, uh, you might get some, uh, you might learn something from my podcast, you might not. It depends, and it depends. If you guys are listening here for the very first time, as they like to say on podcasts or YouTube videos, you're welcome, as they would say. You're welcome. Uh, until then, I'm going to keep doing what I got to do, what I do best, right? What I do best is what I do best is I do this podcast for listeners out there. This is only the audio portion, and I want to leave it at that. Uh, and uh, I want to say to you guys, it's been a great, great uh, election in the United States. Here in Canada, uh, we can't vote in the American elections. That's right. Us Canadians can't vote in the American elections. Only, only Americans can vote in the American election uh, elections now. Uh, the Canadians can only vote on Canadian elections. Uh, but the Americans can vote on the election, uh, which, you know, you get Donald Trump, you get Joe Biden, you get all, buddy, everybody in the capital city. Yes, yes. I'm so happy. But I want to say to one of you folks, I've been watching videos lately about uh, haunted uh, locations. And this rack, I don't know if it's called, no, it's not Rakuten, it's this uh, uh, famous app that people are trying now. And, uh... These are where you go to haunted locations in this app. I forget what the name was called, but it's a big long name, and uh, and people are finding it on their phones. So they go to these weird places, these odd places, they would say, and uh, this app will take you there, and uh, it'll tell you where uh, it's like a it's like a mystery app. Uh, it's like a mystery app, and you gotta go there, kind of thing, either by car or by walking. Uh, and you go to places that you haven't been before. It's, it'll take you places like you haven't been before, and it's like a it's like a witch hunt. I, w I would besides it, it would be like a witch hunt if you're on this app. Um, now, app would I uh, if, if if people want to know what an app is? Uh, app is kind of like a Android device. You uh, upload your app, as they would say, like in the tech world. Upload the app. It's free app. They call it the free app. Uh, upload it, and uh, this will take you to places that that uh, it's like a mystery. It's like a mystery app, and they'll take you places that you might not might not like to go. And uh, I forget it's a long word, long gated word uh, that uh, uh, that everybody's trying. You got to be careful. A lot of people say in their title, in their uh, subtitle videos, say don't try this app. They're not kidding. Don't try this app. Okay, <laughs> they do mean that, folks. Don't try this app, because uh, it'll take you to weird places, I kid you not. Uh, so, it, it, it's strange and weird. Um, it, it, if you're good with that, then try it. But if not, uh, I just warn people who's going to try this app before. Well, I tried it once, no good. Uh, but like I said, uh, this is in the tech world. And folks, I want to say that I'm here to hear for your listening pleasures. Uh, I'm just I'm just the entertainer. I'm just a, a third person. I'm just giving you the facts, only the facts right here. And um, I want to say that this this year's been great. We're here in the November, and it's only what 50, uh, 51 days until Christmas. Fifty one days until Christmas, and counting. Uh, so fifty one days, fifty one sleeps till Christmas time. Uh, so we're in November now, folks. So this is Friday. Uh, what's well, going on to Friday, November 6th. Uh, so we got 51 days or 51 sleeps until Christmas time. And uh, there will be Christmas this year. Trust me, there will be Christmas this year. Uh, it's, not, it's not like a Halloween where uh, trick-or-treaters come to your door this year. Um, 
this Christmas will be a, a white Christmas, they say, in the Big Crosby album would say. Uh, there will be a white Christmas after all. Big Crosby passed away in the 70s, 1977, that is. Uh, he, was a, he, he did lots of films. He did a film called The White, uh, white Christmas Film. And uh, Big Crosby, he was a, he was a showmanship guy. Uh, he, he likes to dance. He was dancing. Uh, he likes to dance. He was a he was a forty nineteen forties type of guy. And uh, Big Crosby, a lot of people would, might have heard about him. Uh, Big Crosby, who was uh, had the White Album. You might see him in the cover of the White Album. Uh, uh, the, you know the White Christmas album. Everybody plays this album every single year. And that's Big Crosby. And he died in the, in the seventies. He died in the seventies. Uh, he was on a golf course. Uh, in around the 70s, and people didn't know who he was. Well, that guy was Big Crosby, the singer of that White Christmas album. Uh, and uh, he was that guy. People didn't realize in the, in the 1970s who that guy really was. That guy was Big Crosby, the, the guy who did a lot of uh, Broadway musicals. They called Broadway musicals. And uh, these were, you know, like uh, plays and stuff like that. Uh, big Broadway plays, like humongous place um, and this is what you call the theater kind of thing um, and they would sing they would do a little singing a little tap dancing you know tap dancing and that's what they would do and Big Crosby was that guy and uh, he would do big songs big uh, songs like uh, you don't need as people would say you don't need instruments to uh, hold, a, hold a voice to uh, all you need is your voice to make that song happen and Big Crosby was the guy to do it. Yeah, uh, he did a lot of tap dancing. If you people know how to do tap dancing, that's what Big Crosby did. Uh, and uh, yeah, so there you go, folks. Christmas will come this year. I guarantee you, Christmas will come this year. And uh, I'll be, I'll be, still be here, giving you the best, best podcast on the planet. And um, I'm here for you, and only here for you. Um, you're welcome for you guys to be on my podcast. I'm so happy, so delighted. And I could be any happier. I just could be any happier. And, um, yeah, so there you go.